So we'd rather go here anyway, so we can get the one in Sprite Forest after we turn in this quest. Which is just over here. I kind of wish the cooldown for this started to go down more as I leveled it. I want you all to know this as well. You cannot derank spells. Don't treat this as if it is, um, wow. Totally different ballpark from wow. So if you don't want a certain spell like ranked up, you can just skip it. So we do have a teleporter that'll take us to certain places here. I was kind of hoping that one of you guys were secretly a vendor. So I could sell these Oh, I totally forgot about the last. We'll make it a bow. <laughs> I can cancel that. Uh, if a quest begins to turn green, you're going to get less XP out of it. But like I said, when you reincarnate, you'll get the full XP out of this. That's also a reason, like I said, I avoid. Taking like other places, quests. Okay, where is this person? There they are. Now let's make the bow, since we're about to be level 18. It was kind of funny, because I figured out that guy's plan. My guy's plan was to teleport me somewhere and think that I would get lost. So, two players, uh, grab this, because this is for PC. So, new players, make sure to turn off your shares. Don't take shares from random strangers. Turn off your duels and challenges. Refuse to sit together. Because that was actually very helpful to figure out that there are players like that. It's better to go into less populated places now. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing. I don't know why you would... If you know that I am a content creator, which I don't think they do, other than that, you're probably just bored doing this to random people. Which would also be dumb. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Interesting, though. <laughs> Very interesting. So we got that quest. Um, I want this to be note that this won't always be like reoccurring for other dungeons that unlock. Because some quests will actually be scattered into different areas and they won't even tell you who has it. So this is why I would recommend going to the wiki. The wiki will tell you like where certain things are. and how to do those quests. There is also a database as well. The database will also, if I remember correctly, tell you where those places are. Well, where those quests are. Gravitation database.
Alright, ignore that quest. Now we're going to this guy. Then after uh, PC Dungeon, I will pretty much wrap it all up here. For a while, you can use Dungeon Gear, but yeah, Dungeon Gear slowly gets outdated, is what I want to say. But it's also quite helpful. If you don't have a... Uh, Armor Sprite. Or a Weapon Sprite. It's just good luck getting your drops. Okay. Talk to him. Collect the quest. And the last one is in... The planes. Oh yeah, I can go to Blue Bay at this point. Because my soul is still locked to Blue Bay. It'll be a little shortcut. If you're soloing, it is a lot better to stay inside of a... Less populated servers, I guess. <laughs> So now we're going to go take this quest to him. If I remember correctly, that's the little level 15 quest nobody does, right? Yeah. That's that's one of the little special quests. Any, if you see any level 15 quest inside of a zone, that quest is normally a, like, event quest, is what I want to call it. It's like a... It's weird. It's like a gimmick quest. Not many people do that quest, so we normally just skip over it. I just never waste my time with them. Because they aren't, like, actually needed. Alright. So now, we can go do the... Fairy Dungeon. Alright, level 17. Hunter. Fairy Dungeon. So, uh, Hunters... Uh, actually need three sprites. Most other classes only need two. Unless you're playing Pally or... Berserker. Which, Berserker can use either two-handed axes... Two-handed hammers. Well, let's just say this: pallet, war. It's it's what it's weird. Warriors can use hammers, axes, swords. So basically, two hand and one hands, and shields for pally. So pally has quite a few weapons that they can choose from. It just depends on like what you're trying to build for. Because there are some hammers that, you know, give life skill off of regular attacks. There are some axes that give life skill off of regular attacks, increase attack speed. There are some swords that reduce the mana costs, you know, stuff like that. So it really depends on, like, what you really want to go for. If you want to decrease your cast time, you want to move faster. Eight fold is great to carry. But for a ranger, you have a choice between two-handed great swords or one-handed swords. And then you have a choice between bow. Oh, wait, hold up. There's another quest you can take here. This is the monster hunting board. You can take the quest after a certain level, but it's great to buy this now because you will level in a dungeon if you are solo. You're going to level quick in this dungeon. There's also a great thing that happens when you're inside of a dungeon now. 
at certain levels you get like these uh these boosts it really depends on what dungeon you're in so parry dungeon is 35 and lower and it gives 50 percent movement speed and 80 points to everything so it makes dungeon clearing very easy oh the surface is lagging Not oh, there we go Huh. Oh, that's interesting. That's a... Oh, that's a melee attack. Why does it have an arrow? That's kind of that's kind of weird that it has an arrow for its icon if it is a melee attack. That kind of threw me off a little bit. There's really no reason to to hit these, but you can get bonuses inside of uh dungeons for completing various tasks. There's one. So it requires melees. I think it's from killing spiders, right? Man, the amount of misses that I've gone through is absurd. This would be easier if you were like <laughs> gearing towards assassin because you would just carry dual blade sprite. Like what is this accuracy? Hello brother? My accuracy is ass. I have never seen accuracy like this, Gunny. So yeah, when you're poisoned by a spider, you can deal damage to it. So now that the spider hit me, I can just do this. And it resets every time I get hit. So you can just have one spider on you. While you're doing this. Okay, now that's done. And we get a buff. And that buff is 5% more damage and 25% treasure drop. Okay, I got a gun. Nice. That's actually pretty helpful to be honest. So the dungeons have like these set stats that you can get. Also, this is also what I was talking about. The little S's thing. These could be sold if you actually have like a stack of 250 for a decent price of like let's say 2000 gold 
if you keep rerunning the quest. Um, but anyway. Yeah, these are dungeon stats. They have a random chance of getting random stats onto them. Yeah, hey, I can have out my uh, sprite now. Should be max stamina. This is gonna be my opener. Let's do this. Ah, I missed, so I didn't get the stack. Not really, bro. What's up? What's up, my accuracy? Have I been cursed? <laughs> Hello? Uh, your sprite skin, I also collect gear without aggroing, which is great. So four, and I'm pressing three. Like I said, animation cancel is not a thing. You can shorten your animations with uh, different mounts, but you can't use mounts inside of dungeons. Well, combat mounts inside of dungeons. Okay, I can use my other bow now. And what I'm going to increase is my agility and range. How far did that level go? So it's level 11 right now. Okay. Ah, what? I'm pushing the wrong button. I'm over here pushing this by mistake. On the bright side. It doesn't seem too hard. Until like certain things go on cooldown. A long cooldown. 12 seconds is fucking long. This is why I kind of warned my friends if they were going to play if they were going to play anything like Archer Path that it's not easy it's not easy to get into Hopefully I get a bow out of here. Huh? I'm pushing three, am I not? I guess not. Okay, so... Noted... That I cannot knock bosses back. The knockback does not affect the spiders. Yikes. Okay, that's going to be an annoying start. Yeah, if you're going to play the archer route, <laughs> play with a friend. That's for sure. At least until you get to ranger. Once you get to ranger, you'll have a better kit. Hopefully. Right now, it seems pretty easy. As long as I have potions. But then again, you can also get a region of your health and mana in here, thanks to the um, protection buff. I think it lasts an hour, right? Yeah, it lasts like an hour. So as long as you finish the dungeon within an hour, you're pretty much golden. 
I'm gonna tell you this, if I didn't have that buff, I would have been dead by now. I can't use any of that gear. Ten percent damage reflection. Crit reduction. Crit reduction is actually like something that's great for late game. Uh, put you away. If you could start. Oh no, I can't do that yet. Fuck! Because my sprite is still low level. That's annoying. I wish there was also another quality of life to show, to show that you're in max range for certain abilities and they would they would actually show up as red for like their number or just actually turn red all together that would be great too if I remember correctly League of Legends does that and it's seems not League of Legends <laughs> WoW does that and it looks extremely helpful for its like quality of life. Can I put that in there? No, I can't. Okay. Get rid of it. That's a lot of stuff. Oh god, I just realized I killed the spider. I have to go back and redo the for this for when I'm ready. That's annoying. Oh, what am I leaving for? I need that quest. A lot of my potions have been used. Sag. So I'm level 19 now. Level 31 is my next is my next quest. Well, it's my next uh, job change. That's what I should say. Now I'm gonna do. I just thought about it. I can outrun these guys. As long as they don't do that. Because their aggro is long in a dungeon. Uh, the reason I separated this uh, video from the other video is because these dungeons might actually take long and I want to do the dungeons completely uncut. I think I gotta drag enemies to these stones. Yeah, 
Other drag enemies towards these stones for the next buff. I you bitch. How they kill him uh, that way. So I need five more. Four more. Oh, yeah, I can kill this dude. Ah, pushing around buttons. Come here. Charge up the shot. There's also another reason why it's great to keep an archer around because that 10% like defense lower on everything is actually extremely good. I wish the toxic kind of like stacked though. Not gonna lie to you. Did I go off? Okay, it went off in time. I need one more, and up to you. Then we can see what buff this one gives. I normally don't do these challenges. I normally skip over them. But it's interesting to see. What buffs they give. Okay, this one gave... Ah, 5% defense. To both magic and physical and also more treasure drop these all last for an hour This would actually be a lot easier with my bonus, I'm pretty sure. With my uh, archive bonus, but like I said, not gonna use it. Just saying. Hello? Okay, hit him. Thank you. But, hold on. I wanna hit level 20 and be able to use that scroll. Yeah, use this mission order. These hounds are very annoying. Because they give the unfortunate act of uh, misfortune, which makes 60% of all your abilities fail, have a chance of failing. So you have 40% chance of your skills being successful, which is not fun to deal with, <laughs> that's for sure. Thing is, I can use this now, but at the same time, I don't want to. But I can use this. Uh, we can get rid of this. Yeah, here it is. Lost power. These little essence. Keep a hold of those if you're trying to make some... Trying to make some gold. You can also get, like, a wall advantage, too. And loop them around to the other side. Grand Protection doesn't care if you have line of sight most of the time. Depending on just if you're 
your weapon can hit it, it does not give a fuck. The only thing that the enemies give a fuck about is their pathing. As long as they can path to you, they won't lose aggro. If they can't path to you, they, they will lose aggro. If you're way faster to them and already gotten through, like, from here to here, then they'll start their aggro around here. <laughs> like, dungeon aggro is pretty, is pretty high as long as they can reach you. If they can't, like I said, if they can't reach you, then they just can't reach you. And they'll lose aggro. Long as the boss can hit me and path to me, aggro will not be dropped. The hell? That's the one I wanted. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, somebody's stream showed up. That's my nigga right there. No, if you make it again, you can shoot again. Really? Yeah. 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 Okay, what just happened there is like a streamer got done streaming, then they raided, then the audio came back on for some reason. Okay, I'm stuck. That's another thing you have to deal with. Getting stuck is part of Grand Fantasia as well. <laughs> a lot of debris inside of war <laughs> at this point. It also makes it better because you can attack a boss while they're in animation. If their animation is really long, it's, it's very much in your advantage. I don't plan on dying in the outside world so I can get rid of that. It didn't change back. Oh, that quest and hold on. I have other quests that aren't both popping up. Um, I have to get rid of something. Ah, oh, this is annoying. I normally like to sell these these gears, but I can't. I hate that they try and force these into my main backpack when my sprite bag is literally empty. Uh, I have to grab these keys because these keys are made for the final boss. Ah, there's also those two. Didn't see those. Should be should have thrown a lot of stuff into the bank to be honest. Uh yeah, these keys are for the final boss, which is all the way down here inside of Fairy Cave. I will say this, this boss is probably the most annoying one out of all the ones that are in here because they, because that boss also has a uh, misfortune. So far, I've gotten lucky with, like, archer gear inside of here. Haven't gotten so lucky with, like, actual... With a lot of, like, actual gears, though. Like, they're barely dropping right now. 
Ah, here's here's the quest to level up my sprite. So far, it's going pretty well. I wish I had like a lot more knockback skills, though. A lot more distance skills, if anything. Oh my god. But also, my freaking chance of hitting is also annoying too. I, dude, out of every other class, I have never seen this class. And holy crap, does it have accuracy issues. Shoes don't need those. I'll let you pick those, those up, buddy. At least I'm almost level 22, though. So I'm slowly out leveling the other areas now that I'm actually like in dungeons. And so, like, okay, I'm stuck. I don't think I need two keys. What is this? I did not know there was a dog on that side. Okay, thankfully I have some points. I can open up with armor. Uh, that did not affect... Okay, that effect did not go through. Oh, that's annoying. Now I'm kind of curious. Can you be affected by that? You're gonna be a you can be affected by poison now. Okay, I'm I'm stuck on the fucking little pillar. Ah, dude. So they haven't changed the archer's little main flaw is that he can't get away from bosses. <laughs> yeah, this soloing series with this might become an issue. If, unless I want to build like an actual like movement speed build, that'd be the only other way is keep re readjusting. Unless the bosses have like slow down. Apparently, I'm still too close. Noted. But after I kill him, I will have... I will level. Man. The... The suffering you go through with Archer is insane. If I was an assassin, I wouldn't mind this. <laughs> but I am a 
fucking actual ranged character. The only ranged character that actually has to be up on somebody. Just want that to be known. <laughs> okay, a sword. Cannot use that as an archer, so that is useless for me. Guess I can get rid of the sprites for this character. <sighs> Dear devs, please send everything to my fucking sprite bag that belongs in the sprite bag, please. For the love of God, no more. There we go. That gave me a bag. What's the next level for this? Level 25? And that only gives me like a door to sell things. It actually gives me a charm too. Which will be helpful. So now that we completed all of those bosses, we have to go now fight Greed. And Greed is all the way down here. So we're almost done with the tag speed is fucking great for this bow. If it ever, like, triggers that. Okay, I finished all the quests that are... all the time quests that are in here. Wait, why did you get closer? You didn't need to get closer. You were in range, character. Yeah, why are you running forward? I don't get that. Why is my character readjusting just to hit a skill shot that it was hitting perfectly like a few seconds ago? Oh my god, the, I just missed like three different skills. What is your accuracy, sir? What is your fucking accuracy? Holy shit. <laughs> Swear to god if I missed this. Okay. I was about to say, dude, something needs to be looked into this fucking missing BS. I'm missing half of my fucking DPS, Jesus Christ. Alright, I'll be level 23 by the time this dungeon's over. Oh, I guess that's why this exists. The accuracy increase. Oh, that's evil. Oh, yeah, I could put those uh, boots on. Now that I think about it. I'm going to put these on because they have debuffs on it. Like, a good... Some of debuffs. 
Hey, level 23. Am I gonna lie? Playing Grand Fantasia this way? Okay, that attack missed. Playing Grand Fantasia this way does give me like the old feel of like first starting out in Grand Fantasia. Especially playing like a class that that I've never touched. So everything's new to me. Oh my god. Dude, build screw building full of full evasion. I need full fucking accuracy at this point. Jesus. Am I even gonna be able to kill this boss? That's a real question. Oh maybe I should have chose the five percent uh movement speed. For my talent. Seems like a missed chance now. <laughs> Alright, it's 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 boss time. I think I should be good. Ah, uh, that's something I wanted to do. Put you here. Uh, right click. We gotta replace potions now since a lot of things have changed. Well, since I've gone through all those, I necessarily wouldn't even use that many potions. Let's heal a little bit. Greed has never been an issue on like other characters out for me. He is level 30 here though. But with the auto help, I shouldn't have any issues with it. I forgot Greed charged up spells too. And Greed also has a long animation for when he attacks. Hopefully he attacks here. Or am I just too fast? Okay, that attack missed. Great. You know what? We're starting off strong. If I didn't have these potions, I definitely would have been dead by now. Okay, I want to... I want to bring out his melee. Now I want to start hitting. The better, the longer their animation, the better.
I keep forgetting that strafing is a thing. I never really had to strafe on my fucking druid. As an archer, it, it, it actually exists, that's for fucking sure. <laughs> Alright, strafing. Something I'm gonna have to get used to. Uh, this is pretty easy of a quest. They want you to find a suit inside a inside this cave within ten minutes. Uh he can spawn in various locations throughout the dungeon. As you're going back, do you make sure to check crevices. He can spawn up here. Where any dungeon boss has died. There are even some of these little escape the dungeon challenges that are trap heavy. To where you can get damaged by these little little balls and stuff like that. That's mostly in um, Sunken Fortress, which is like around level 60. Dang, I was kind of hoping he was like, he would be a lot closer this time. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's why you gotta... Whoops. Just confused myself. Juke my own eyes. This is why I say you gotta look out. Okay, server's lagging. Hold on. There it is. And now I gotta take him back. And with this, the quest updates. But there are now enemies on the path. Yep. These enemies do not give XP. Uh, he can also be killed, so you gotta actually keep an eye on that. You can take aggro off of him just by hitting him. But if misfortune comes into play and you have the unfortunate part of where the game decides to put him in this area, You know what? I could just run this. Because as long as he doesn't die and I get there, he's good. Plus, I have aggro. Except for that one that just started following him. You can see his HP up here. And I can just talk to him, and that's it. Now I'm done with that quest. Now before I get rid of another thing out of my bag. Get rid of that. That doesn't give XP either. It just gives like a little point that you can either use on a GIF for this dungeon or a certificate for this dungeon. Uh, which one is this? Or a bonus bag that gives items. I'm going to use certificate because I can show you guys that for the next dungeon, this applies to... Um, Condemn Mines. That's the next dungeon we'll be going to. Alright. Uh, we're going to refresh this dungeon and go back in because I have to kill the spider boss. Again. Because I, I killed her too early. So don't be like me. Make sure to level up by killing the normal mobs. Then using your mission order scroll and this is why I always say take the gear take the gear sprite because your gear is has a very low chance of dropping in here especially if you need like all five pieces Versus just finding a single bow. I 
Actually, I can hit level uh, 24 if I want. It'll put me a lot closer to being done. I wasn't going to do that, but, you know, now that I have to go through these spiders again, might as well. Plus, it's still giving me a big chunk of XP. I think at level 24, it does die off and they become green enemies. Right now, they're white, so they give me neutral XP. There we go. And they did become green enemies. Well, at least level 20 is green now. So now I'm done with uh, the cave altogether. So we did one repeat quest for... Whoops. For the mission order. We have a whole bunch of gear we need to sell too. And I'm going to show you guys normally what you do after you complete a dungeon. Uh, any useless gear you don't have, you can actually sell here. So if I don't need these pants, but I do, so I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm actually going to put those pants on because they're for me. Uh, I don't think this can be sold, right? Oh, no, these can be sold. And I'll be coming here and just sell like every last gear that I can't use. Or just don't need it all. I'm going to keep the... Uh, the rifle just in case I have like a change of mind but everything else you're not going to use go ahead and sell it uh, in higher dungeons it will be recommend recommended to sell in this item auction because those were actually those will actually sell because people will be scavenging quite a bit either they'll be scavenging or they need those gears because they got pre-leveled or fast level Okay. Interesting. So this only gives me a chance of a rifle and no bows. So a sharpshooter will be... No, even a rifle here too. No bows at all. Okay, so there's no bows inside of this dungeon. That's annoying. And the reason I want you guys to accept the quests before you go into a dungeon because they give you titles. Completing any um, muscle hunting board order gives you titles. Here's the issue. If you out-level these mission orders, you cannot get that title anymore. Unless you uh, reincarnate and go through all this again, then you'll have another chance of getting them. But if you miss it again, you won't be able to get it. So yeah, that is pretty much it. 
Um, all quests are pretty much freaking done for that. So I need to go here, right? Oh wait, no, I think this is the one that sends me into like the ice area, right? Yeah. Uh, be careful with this dungeon. Well, not with this dungeon, with this quest. Because you can get sent out here and stuck if you don't have enough teleporting stones. But happily, there is a uh, talent teleporter here. I mean, the only way you get soft locked is if you don't have any coins either. So, careful though, brother. It only takes five, well, fifty copper. You better sell something if you're, if you're that broke. <laughs> uh, I got the sword. Okay. I'll take the sword. It's better than still using the training sword. Well, I'm still gonna have to use the training sword because I have to have two swords. It's annoying that none of those, no, no swords dropped inside of the dungeon. I think a great sword dropped. That isn't what we needed. Uh, I think the Sprite's Journey quest is what I need to go to. Oh yeah, we can also finish this quest as well. If you need your beginner book back, you can also buy it through here. If you got rid of it like me. Like a complete dum-dum. Which is another reason why I wasn't really doing that much damage. <laughs> Because my skills were low leveled. Uh, here. <laughs> I want to finish this quest up and see if that's the one that ranks up my sprite, so we can uh keep going when I'm not making like videos. I can keep that going. Oh yeah, those um order missions as well. Those mission orders can be repeated up to 43 times. No, 45 times. So you can rerun re -run a dungeon 45 times. Okay, so no, it, that wasn't the quest I'm looking for then. Is it in here? Sprite Whisperer. There it is. That's the quest I need for my sprite. Now I actually remember it. <laughs> now my sprite actually has another slot. Uh, I can go full evasion here or damage. Um, there we go. Bullseye evolved. Now he has little legs in a body now. Look at his little arms. But the best thing is he can now go up to 50. So I will be preparing the hell out of this. I don't know how much luck I'm going to have getting him up to freaking level 50, but it might take a long time. And considering I, I level him by four, it's going to be a nuisance to keep him up and keep him ahead of me as the more it goes. So not looking forward to that. So that's that's a thing. Yep. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be ending it there because I got to go to work tomorrow. But the weekend's coming up, so yeah. Maybe you guys get another video and maybe you guys will get a stream instead. Whichever one happens, it happens. Until then, you guys stay safe out there. Peace out. to